My name is Kai Ping Pong, a psychology professor at UC Berkeley, and I have been here since 1997. And I'm a social psychologist. I'm teaching social cultural psychology. I'm doing research on this topic as well. Science of Happiness is a scientific study of how to make people happy, how to improve people's life, quality of people's life, and the psychological well-beings. When we talk about happiness, people tend to think philosophically and economically. Those are the two uh, main definitions people use. But actually, happiness is individual experience, is a psychological understanding of meanings of life, is uh, how you feel about yourself. China is at this important historical juncture. I think they are making huge social, cultural, economic change from the socialist communist assistance to free market economic assistance. People are making big adjustments in their life. You have to fight for yourself. You have to compete with other people. It's a jungle out there and you have to survive by fitness. All this uh, social Darwinism associated with uh, capitalist uh, economic assistance affects Chinese as well because uh, they are making big change to market economy. I think people just not get used to this new social systems. And traditional Chinese values emphasize harmonies, emphasize uh, association with other people, emphasize collectivism. And this new economic systems made people uh, struggle to find new values. The Tsinghua Psychology Department is uh, uh, built by both Tsinghua University, one of the best universities in China, and UC Berkeley. We wanted to have this uh, American uh, imprint, American version of psychology in Tsinghua. And that is that uh, it's scientific, it's empirical, it's experimental, it's interested in mechanisms, interested in uh, publication on scientific journals. But we also want to have a psychology that is meaningful to Chinese people. Like we want to help people mentally. So we have a counseling psychologists and a mental health. And we also want to make sure that the Tsinghua psychology could have its voice in the international stage. Psychology has been American enterprise for 100 years meaning that uh, we only study American college students, then we make a huge generalization about the psyche of people around the world. And obviously that's a mistake. And we have to do psychology internationally in cross-cultural context. And China is an ideal place because it's a huge population and it's also historically is very important. And it has a culture Reach that cultural diversity very much like the United States. It has a political and a social cultural importance in the world stage, just like the United States. So studying Chinese, the psychology of Chinese people can help American psychologists to understand the true mechanisms and functions of a human psychology. So that's psychological reasons. And there are political reasons. I think helping Chinese to understand the future, understand the meaning in their life, definitely can help us to have a good mutual understandings and the communications between two major countries.